Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to copy and paste components with the Component Copier Editor extension available in the Unity Asset Store. So once you download it from the Asset Store, you'll see this Importing Package window. Everything should be selected by default and you'll just click Import. It'll pull in your files and they'll be in this Component Copier folder. You'll have your script in there as well as a README file. It has some useful information, but I'll be covering most of it in this video. Alright, so in our scene we just have a directional light and a camera. I'm also going to create a cube and it already has by default a few components on it. I'm also going to add a rigid body. It's always useful if you want to do physics. And I've also created this custom component c -sharp script this script just has a public string with a default value of default and a public integer with a default value of zero. So we'll put that on our cube and now we have a bunch of components on this cube. Uh, let's also create a sphere and we'll duplicate it a few times so we have a lot of spheres. So let's say we want some rigid bodies on our spheres and uh, we're going to change the mass on this to 10, but we just want some default rigid bodies on these spheres. And then also we're going to move this cube over to 0, 0, 0, so it's on our, in our camera. And we're going to change the rotation a little bit so it looks a little nicer. Oh yeah, now that looks like a cube, not just a square. Alright, so we also want our spheres, they're off camera, we want to move those on, on camera and we also want that rotation applied to those and um, we're also going to change our custom component a little bit we'll s change the string to copy me and this integer to 12 alright so now I can either right click the top of my transform here and select copy components or I can go up to my component menu and select copy components there and then I'll get this little window that asks me which components I'd like to copy. And you, as you can see, there are checkboxes for each of the components on our cube. So we want our transform, and if you just check this box by itself, you'll get the default of that component. You'll just get a default transform. That's not very useful because most things already have a transform, so we'll go into our fields and properties drop down here and decide we want our position like we said earlier and also our local rotation. Now you'll notice these variables there's more here than what you see in your inspector and that's because we're actually seeing all of the variables from that class and if you look at the unity scripting documentation you can see it's all of these variables and might be a few more variables than you need but that's okay um, you can just safely ignore them, that's fine. So, what else do we want? We want our rigid body, we just want a default rigid body even though we've changed the mass on this one. And we also want our custom component and let's say we want the string but we don't want the integer. So we'll click copy, we will select all of our spheres and again we can either right click on the transform and paste or we can do it from our component menu. So now all of these spheres if we go through this list they all look the same they now have the position and rotation that we copied from our cube in our transform we've added a rigid body with the default value of one we didn't select that variable and we also have our custom component script with our string that we selected copy me and we left the integer at default so for all of these spheres we added these components and we copied this copy me variable, the string, and uh, also the position rotation from our transform. So as you can see this is very useful. If you have a number of components you want to apply to a lot of different game objects or if you have variables that you want to apply to multiple objects, it's pretty handy. If you like what you've seen in this video, you can check out the component copier on the Unity Asset Store. Also, if you want more information or you want to contact us, you can check out our website at is3donline.com/unitytools.